Mystery solved. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Less than a day ago, I posted a video about some mysterious overpressure signs I saw initially with my 329PD lightweight carry 44 mag. Replicated it with both of my end frame 629s, my six inch and my four inch. I validated that my powder charge with Hodgdon H110 was within spec. It was actually under. I validated my velocity was under what's indicated for a max load. And you all had a ton of great feedback regarding things that I should look at. Is it excessive crimp? What about bullet seating depth? I ruled those out because this is the same load that I've been running. I'm using the cannula on the bullet for the, the bullet seating depth. It's o it only can vary so much within that cannula where the crimp actually folds in on the bullet. And so, uh, based on some thoughts I had and based on some feedback from you all, I made a primer pocket gauge. So the maximum primer pocket diameter for large pistol is 0 0.210 inches. I made this to 0 0.2102, two ten thousandths over. If it's two ten thousandths over, this should slip in. Doesn't slip in on a brand new piece of brass. Doesn't slip in on one of the cartridges that I broke down and deprimed that showed the blackening around the primer pocket. That was kind of one of the signs. Also saw flattened primers, but it, looking at my 44 mag brass, my, my dirty brass, a lot of them are flattened and it's not to the point where there's really any other problems. So I don't think that's the, particularly the issue. Now, two email subscribers had another thing for me to look at. And that helped, helped me solve this mystery. It was, what about Winchester large pistol primers? There was a recall. They've been known to be maybe a little bit thinner. I'm going to validate this with Winchester. And, you know, there were some failures. And so I deprimed one of the broken down cartridges, the shell casing for it. And I looked with my eye gauging 400 power digital microscope here and I found something really interesting. Let me show you here on the screen. This is what the, the primer looks like. If we, if we uh, focus here, we can see this is just the side profile. And then if I zoom in, we see the culprit here. Okay, let me focus this. Do you see that? A big crack. And those two email subscribers from the blog had seen this and they were familiar with this, this problem, specifically with Winchester large pistol primers. So the charge was not the issue. The bullet seating depth was not the issue. The brass was not the issue. The issue here was the primers. And again, I'm gonna follow up with Winchester to find out what the deal is, maybe give them a lot number on some of my primers. This was loaded two and a half years ago. I'm not sure exactly which ones they were. But deep thanks to you all for helping me solve this mystery. That was some quick action. I love it. Now I can get on with using this Hodgdon H110 load in my 44 mag revolvers confidently knowing that I'm not going to blow myself up or blow up one of my guns, which is a good thing. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the, the rest of my scientific explorations, gunsmithing, metalworking, rifles, pistols, reloading, lots of great stuff coming up. So until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.